everyone this is TCB ASMR here in today's video I will be discussing and looking at the results from the Sweet 16 of March Madness so the first game we had was Michigan State versus Kansas State uh, battle of the states um, Kansas State came out on top after going into overtime the top scorer for Michigan State was Hoggard with 25 points, shot 50% from the field, 50% from three, and 10 for 11 from the line. He had two blocks and four turnovers. Um, and then for Kansas State, Johnson and Noel both went over 20 points. Noel had 19 assists, uh, so despite not shooting too well, he had 19 assists and only two turnovers uh, with five steals, which is very very impressive um, that's a damn game um, and Johnson shot 10 for 18 1 for 4 from 3 50% from the line and had two turnovers uh, Kansas State had a good contribution off the bench uh, Michigan State had a decent one 13 8 and 2 that's pretty good off the bench but Kansas State also had a double digit or another double digit score game. So next we had Arkansas versus UConn. Uh, UConn smacked Arkansas. Uh, the top scorer for Arkansas was Anthony Black and the top scorer for UConn was Hawkins. Um, yeah, Arkansas they, they beat Kansas and then <laughs> they go out and do this. I was kind of I was kind of disappointed in them. I thought they would do better. At UConn is rolling. Okay, so next we had um, the first upset of this round. We had FAU versus Tennessee. Um, I don't know why I keep clicking on recap. I need, to, I need to click on box score. So the top scorer in the entire game was John L. Davis. This was a pretty low scoring game. Um, Davis did not shoot great, but uh, he did go 9 for 10 from the line for Tennessee 10 points was their highest score uh, scored by two people Adu off the bench scored 10 points and James uh, from the starter scored 10 points he shot very poorly as well so yeah FAU the Owls keep rolling and uh, they beat Tennessee big win there um, and they play Kansas State upset um, and technically this is an upset but not in the same way that the FAU one was because this is a three and a two but I get technically it is an upset um, Gonzaga versus UCLA so Gonzaga beat UCLA 79 to 76 uh, Drew Timmy was the top scorer for Gonzaga almost put up 40 points Jamie Jacques Jr. was the top scorer for UCLA had about 30 uh, Mari Bailey put up about 20 and 19. Um, Julian Strother hit a big three. I think he, I think that was the winning three. I didn't, um, I didn't see the last play, but let's see. So this was, can we go to the second half? So this was the first half. Let's see if it lets me go to the second half. Okay, here we go. So, let's see. Yeah, so UCLA were up big. Not big, but they were up by seven with, uh, or no, sorry, Gonzaga was up by seven. Uh, actually, eight with a minute left. And then, um, somehow, UCLA comes back and makes it. Uh, or, and is winning the game after Drew Timmy misses both free throws and then Julian Strother hits a three pointer with eight seconds left to pretty much seal the game for Gonzaga but uh, yeah very good game and um, UCLA they did look like a really good team but Drew Timmy just uh, overpowered them so next we go to the March 24th games uh, where we had big upsets, um, two big upsets.
Cup sets. So with the wins of with the wins from San Diego State and U Miami, there are no more number one seeds left in the entire tournament, which is like the first time that's happened in a while, as one could imagine. So the top score for San Diego State was Tremel. He scored 21 points, 9 for 16 from the field, 60% from three, had two steals and one turnover. For Alabama, it was Sears. He had 16 points and 10 rebounds. Did not shoot great, but shot 8 for 9 from the free throw line. Uh, I think the most important thing to look at here for Alabama is Brandon Miller. Only scored 9 points and shot 3 for 19 and 1 for 10. Uh, and had 6 turnovers. So, San Diego State were really able to uh, key in on Brandon Miller and really caused him a lot of problems and that caused a lot of problems for Alabama because Brandon Miller is pretty clearly their best I won't say clearly but is their best player so but next we had U Miami taking down the number one ranked Houston uh, top score for U Miami or Miami was Nigel Pack he scored 26 points went 8 for 12 7 for 10 from 3 so he was he was a sharpshooter out there um and 3 for 4 from the line with a steal and a turnover. Houston's top scorer was Jerace Walker, 16 points, 11 rebounds, and 5 assists. Shot horribly from the field. Uh, shot okay from 3. Had 4 blocks and a steal with no turnovers. So, yeah. Houston go down. Uh, usually they're known for their defense, but um, in this game, didn't look like they played much defense. Miami almost put up 100, or almost put up 90 on them. Uh, Wong also had 20 points for Miami, so two double-digit scores, uh, or not two double-digit scores, but two 20-plus scores. And then next we had Princeton. Their Cinderella run ends at the hands of Creighton. Uh, Princeton's top scorer was Langborg. I think I'm pretty sure it's just their best player. He scored a lot of points last game. I think he scored 20 plus last game as well. But he scores 26, 11 for 17, 4 for 7 from 3, 2 steals, 2 turnovers. Um, F1 also scores 24 points with 6 rebounds and 9 assists, 10 for 22 from the field, and 2 for 4 from 3 with a steal and a turnover. Um, for Creighton, they almost had 3 players hit 20 points. Two of them did, and one of them was a point off. All of them shot pretty well. Um, and, yeah, Creighton just takes this game. Uh, it seemed whoever a loco is uh, did not shoot well. <laughs> Two for ten from the field. Uh, it's probably or it's really easy to point fingers when you look at the box score, but, uh, you know, maybe some of these shots were just at the end of the buzzer. I'm sure not all of them were, but can't, box score doesn't say everything. Uh, and then last but not least, we had Texas beating Xavier. Uh, Texas, it's in the last video, is a dangerous team. Uh, and this is the craziest part. I think Disu got injured. Yeah, he got injured, and Texas still won. Uh, but the top scorer for Xavier was Kunkel. He scored 21 points. Went 8 for 10 from the field and 5 for 6 from 3 with a steal and 1 turnover. Nunge and Jones both had 15. Uh, Nunge with a double-double. But Nunge did not shoot well at all. He shot 6 for 19. Uh, Jones did shoot pretty solid, a little bit below 50% from the field. Not, I mean, okay from 3 and uh, had 2 blocks but 4 turnovers. For Texas Hunter was the top scorer. He went 19 points, 7 for 11, 3 for 3 from 3, and 2 for 3 from the line. Had two blocks and a turnover. Carr had 18 points, 7 for 16, 2 for 3 from 3, and 2 for 2 from the line with two turnovers. Um, Texas also got a big or got some big contributions off the bench. Um, I guess technically off the bench, but I. I'm assuming they came in for these two players, for Disu and Mitchell, as it seems like they both got injured. Uh, Bishop scored 18 points, 9 rebounds, shot well 8 for 12, 2 for 2 from the line, and only one turnover. Rice scored 16 points, shot 6 for 10 from the field, 1 for 2 from 3, and 3 for 6 from the free throw line with a steal. So yeah, congrats Texas.
Texas. Uh, as I said in the last video, they whooped Kansas in the conference tournament. Uh, and since then, I knew they were going to they're going to be a dangerous team. I'm pretty sure Kansas State also beat Kansas earlier on in the season as well. So uh, now let's head over to my bracket uh, to see how bad I'm doing.